we're back in RimWorld. We have Cat the Teacher, Seraph the ooh, Negotiator, Tao the Commissar, Refugee, who is currently our prisoner. She'll come around to our way of thinking soon enough. Lynx the Experiment, Cross the Joywire, who has some serious mental issues but also has visions, so you know. Bit of column A, bit of column B, not terrible. Some advantages to that. And another Commissar, Arcady. Now, I think we're missing someone, are we? Are we missing someone? No, I think that's everyone. Let's go. So what are we concentrate on this time around? Well, we need to build some lights, is I think what we were saying last time. Um, our food is growing quite nicely, but we are getting lower. Not low, just lower. So maybe we could do with expanding the food production area. And I'll do that right now, actually, because that has to be one of our top priorities. Never fall behind on food. It ends badly. Right, how can I get the maximum amount of food growth in? There we go. Possibly a bit too much, but then again, we can always trade extra food, I guess. And done. Right, so this was going to be our place for keeping prisoners. Strange. I don't normally put that much of a... Normally I leave one gap. But okay, right, fair enough. We will mine this area. And this area. And this area. And we'll put walls up. My general rule of thumb is that if it has metal, we'll mine it and then just put a wall back up where it was. Um... This was going to be uh I have no idea. No, the stream has the the video hasn't bugged out. It's perfectly fine. I have just had a brain fart. I just like can't remember what we're going to use this for. It's going to be something important, I'm sure. That was going to be prisoners. That was going to be people. This is going to be the eating room. This was going to be something else that we needed that was important. It wasn't batteries because this was going to be our battery room. No idea what this was going to be. I guess we'll leave it until I remember. That's incredibly annoying. Maybe if I look through here. Yeah, there we go. It was going to be our research room. Do, 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 do. Uh, we also need a comms console. And then to finish it off, we will put in... Power conduits everywhere for everyone. You don't need a power conduit there. Uh, so maybe not everyone. And then we also need a light. Light, 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 light. Standing lamp there. Potted plant there as well. Standing lamp here. 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 Um, is it? There we go. It's under structure, power conduit. And then furniture, standing lamp there. This is going to be the eatery. Uh, it's not finished yet. So I'm going to leave putting in a lamp in there for the moment. We should probably put one in, in here. So we'll put a standing lamp there. A standing lamp there. Now I can see they're using the metal we gathered from here, so instead of having to go all the way to the stockpile to grab it, they're taking the shortcut, which is really nice of them. We're also going to put a drop beacon in, and put the drop beacon in somewhere close to the door. And what we're going to research first now, we have that. Uh, we can research... Pneumatic picks would be useful. Quicker mining. Um, do we have anyone that I feel confident just giving research to? I guess we can give you research and we can promote someone else to being in charge of growing. We'll give it to you so that you do it whenever you're not growing, maybe. Because there will be downtime between growing. Oop, that's done. Which means that we can put in a wall. Then we can put in a door. 
power conduit, and then neutron paste dispenser, hopper, and you can put lots of hoppers in just so that you don't have to keep dragging food over. Other than that, we need a table. Table long. T. Earl Grey. Hot. And we can put the table in like there. Yeah, and then we can put the chair in. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. Which means we can then put our standing lamp here. Put the potted plant here. Let's get rid of that. Standing lamp can go here and here. We have a potted plant there, and then we can put, I don't know if, I assume lamps transmit power. I guess we'll find out. Not certain of that one. Everyone was sleeping and all through the house. No one was stirring, despite the boom rat. Boom rat, boom rat. They let come and I want to run away because the boom rats are bloody scary things. They can be incredibly annoying if they get blown up near your house. Um, we need to cut plants here. Let's just cancel the order for the ones that have actually been planted. Right, so we're actually starting to build up here, which is always good. And let's change the priority of this hopper so that they don't fill this hopper anymore to low. So they'll fill that hopper, but only as a last resort. They'll prefer to fill these hoppers. Mm. Yay, Tower's now on our team. Oh, no, we want to concentrate on... Can you... But I don't want you to concentrate on prioritising that. Can I get her to prioritise on doing this power line? Why are you not powered? Let's go and find out why you're not powered. Structure, power conduit. I guess... Oh yeah, you were connected to that and they aren't transmitting power. That explains a lot. And we successfully recruited Tau! The Commissar. Uh, you are fairly good at wardening, so we will make your warden. And we will also allow you to do research. I uh, will like to do plant cutting, hauling, and cleaning. And everything else will leave on default. There we go. We'll actually make you a full time research because I know that you're not quite as good. You're a 2 out of 10, yeah, and our teacher is a 3 out of 10, but our teacher is also really good at growing. So we'll make you our full time researcher. Um, power conduit. Build me a power conduit with your model. Ah. We don't quite have enough power. I think it's we have enough power, but we don't have enough battery space. Is the issue. Um, which means we should probably start on this battery thing. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. So, let's go to orders. Mining. Mine. And then cancel it just here. So that we can build that battery space. And we will need more power, so I am tempted just to go and build another... Yeah, uh, let's also mine this bit up over here. So, structure, order, zone... There we go. And then we'll need to build this about here and about here. Because we will need power from... We will need power from our... Solar panels anyway, because we're going to need them. Geothermal, we could start hooking that up, but it is a little bit far away and it will take people a time to hook that up. And I'm not wanting to spend the time right now. Maybe in like five minutes, I'd be up for that. But Mental break soon. Why are you going to mental break? Why are you going to mental break? Uh, hideous environment. Well, someone needs to start cleaning, don't they? Who's in charge of cleaning? No one's in charge of cleaning as such, I guess. We'll make the negotiator in charge of cleaning. 
And we will also put down temporarily smooth stone because it's free. Um... Yep, that nutrient dispenser is working, which means we can turn the old one off. Whoa, jump location. He's going on a rampage. That's not brilliant for us. It's a very interesting rampage he's going on. He's just walking around. It's a shame, because he was our mining dude, wasn't he? Yeah, so mining... Uh, oh, you're in charge of constructing as well. You're in charge of hauling and cleaning. You can be in charge of... Constructing. No. Mining. Yes. There we go. I'm not very good at it, though, which is annoying. I'm not sure what's going to happen to Arcady. Oft times when people go crazy, they end up getting uh, a bit dead. Industrial trader's passing by. We don't need another industrial trader. We've got plenty of metal. And you're going to attack Cat? No? Yes? No? Oh, oh! There we go. Fight's finally broken out. There we go. Melee attack. Go, go, go. Ah, yes. Right. We didn't kill him. That is really good for us. Capture him. Now let's find whoever is not armed but has really high shooting. That's you. Equip the pistol. Hmm. Orders. Mine. Mine that. Mine that. Mine that. Orders. Structure. Wall! There we go. Wall. 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 Door. 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 Power conduit. Local boom rat. Ah. Oh, God damn it. And she's gonna go. He's gonna go for cat, and cat needs to get away because otherwise it will destroy the crops and the food. Fire at the boom rat. Miss the boom rat. Come on, hit the boom rat. Hit the boom rat. Come on. I'll keep missing. You know that works too. It doesn't work. Keep firing. Okay, cool. All right, you hit it twice. Just three more times to go. Two and a bit more times to go. At least you're practicing your shooting, I guess. Don't get unconscious when it explodes. Please don't get unconscious when it explodes. Lynx was incredibly helpful there. Fired one shot and then was like, oh, now I'm going to go back to doing my plant cutting. There we go. Um, can you do the firefighting, please? Oh, can you not firefight? Maybe that's because you don't have a... Let's check. Oh, you're not in the home zone region. There we go. Oh, you're not a firefighter either. Ah! Firefighting. Quick. She's pretty badly hurt. I don't know why we've got crazy flashes around the boom rat. I think that is a bug. Rescue cat. And Stono Raiders. I'm really surprised. Another escape pod. This time with a wounded Jimmy on board. Jimmy Suit. Jimmy Lander. He was a pickpocket and then he became a legit businessman. 
because he was one step ahead of the law, he became a businessman and silenced anyone who dared say otherwise. As proprietor, brothels, speakeasies, and <laughs> eateries, his good fortune continued while his competition suffered a series of unfortunate and unexplained accidents. So basically, he was like a mob boss. He won't clean. He, he, he clean. He won't clean. He won't doctor, and he won't cut plants. Funny enough, but he has got ten social and eight melee. Um, hemophiliac. I think that's the American spelling of hemophiliac, which he loves blood. Hmm. Interesting. And he's a dreamer. Interesting. Right. Well, we'll have him. We'll have him. Because right now, uh, we kind of need... Because we've just had someone get incapacitated, and Arcady is currently a little bit crazy and in our care. Let's try and recruit him. I need to turn that on, actually. Um... Right, what is going on? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs repairing, actually. Um, who's in charge of repairing? There we go. We'll make you in charge of repairing when you're done with your construction. Ooh. Mysterious blights for Strider crops. There you go. I told you it's a very common thing. And incredibly annoying considering we're actually starting to get low on food. It's not terrible, terrible. We do have plenty of food lying around. Um... I'm just going to tell you to haul potatoes. Where are you hauling it to? Oh, you're actually hauling it into there. Okay. Right, and Jimmy, we will have you be converted as well. Join us! Join us, Jimmy! One of us! Ooh. Edward, the genetic scientist, is passing by. Let's look at you. You were a Vacro medic and you became a genetic scientist. Uh, you're pretty good at research. You've got eight shooting, though. We'll have you. We'll have you indeed. Right, where are you, genetic scientist? Um, arrest. Yeah, we got him. Right. Now, what's going on? Um... Sounds like someone's making, yeah, tiles. Edward, the genetic scientist. That's nuts. Jimmy, the mob boss. Um, there we go. You are friendly chat treasure crew. I should probably keep this one stocked as well, just so they have a choice, but it also means keeping that powered, and I suppose we have got plenty of power right now. I think if we put it on important, it'll be the same priority as these. Yeah, I think these are all important by default. Right, um, I would be tempted just to turn off the research for now because we are a little bit behind on our manpower but they are researching mining tools and mining tools would be incredibly useful to us because mining's pretty slow considering our main mining person is currently a prisoner <laughs> hi arcady ooh ooh we are running tight on power look at that i think we're going to be fine yeah we are fine but you can see that drop down quite a lot uh, at night. So we don't get the luxury of building a lot more in the way of um, electrical devices. At least until at least until we have more batteries. Food! Build a crook, Jimmy. Okay, fair enough. I was really worried that Mysterious Blight would destroy our crops again, but I just hadn't cancelled it the first time around. Whoops. Um, yeah, but I was cooking all the potatoes. And while we're waiting, we will put a second battery in, actually. Cat's no longer incapacitated. Woohoo! 
She was basically like the best character we had, I think, because she was in charge of wardening, growing, plant cutting. We wouldn't have that mysterious blight if she was around. I tell you. Don't know why they're eating raw food. There is plenty of food over here. And power. Hmm. Oh, at least they're getting nutrient now. Ah, and Sarah's doing his cleaning. Excellent. So the environment won't be hideous any lo uh, anymore. Or uh, any longer. One of the two. One of the two. We'll actually make it look pr quite pretty when we've actually got, you know, all the uh, plant pots and stuff indoors. Raiders. Oh, bollocks. I forgot to build defenses, didn't I? Oh, well. What have you got? Pistol. Molotov cocktails. Right. We'll just run up and we'll punch them to death. We have numbers. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to capture them because we won't be punching them to death. We'll just punch them to unconsciousness. Uh, unconsciousness. I really can't talk today. I don't know what it is. Um... Ugh. Anyway, yeah, we'll go up and we'll punch them and they'll go unconscious and we'll celebrate and we will convert them to our cause and then they'll join us and then we'll use them to punch some more raiders in the head. It's the cyclic uh, method of punching people in the head to convert them, I guess. I think it's a legit method. I'm going to paint into it. And with that, I think that's enough for today's episode, actually. Come back next time to find out how we do in our first fight, which will probably be fairly easy considering there's only two of them. One of them is model for cocktails, but since we will be running at them and not stationary, it's not so much of an issue. Uh, let's actually look at their skills before we go and check if they're worthwhile. He's a fighter. He was a Colosseum cleaner, but then he got into a scrap and it became obvious that he was a really good fighter. So he became a fighter. He's incapable of firefighting, caring, scary. There isn't... Like, what do you do that's scary? I don't know. Plant work? Do you just not like plant? No, you can do growing. Uh, maybe it means like industrial planting. You're capable of mining. You are math talented. Math talent. Math talent. Okay, you have you have a talent for maths, and you are evil. Fair enough. Bashir Lestrat is a human grenadier who used to be an officer cadet, then became a fighter controller. Uh, intellectual, artistic cannot be done. 11 shooting and 11 melee, though. She's going to be difficult to take down. She's pious and shy, so she's basically like she went to Catholic school. Um, I think it's a, she must be a she. Look at the hairstyle. Uh, no, it's a male. Okay, fair enough. He went to Catholic school and looks like he's a woman. I will admit that. That sprite does look very womanly. But, you know, fair enough. Um, how you choose to dress and appear is up to you. I will draw no... Conclusions. Maybe not conclusions. What's the word? I will I, I will not judge. I will not judge. See, words are really failing me today. Anyway, I'm going to call it there because obviously my vocabulary is just going downhill. Uh, I've been Andrew Lissium and stay shiny.